Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? My hair looks kind of crabby. But yeah, let's just sit down and talk today. But first, let me get this stuff. I have a lot of pajamas on. And guess what? I have a little tail too. Oh my God, I'm crazy. Okay, so today's video, I just want to sit down, talk a little bit, have some oatmeal. Okay, let's open this up because I feel like I'm suffocating in here. But anyways, you guys, so in today's video, I just want to really just talk about, I don't even know exactly, I usually tend not to really talk, like, I just focus on unboxing, if I'm doing makeup, I try to focus just on makeup, try not to go off topic and talk about other things, because <laughs> I'm an introvert person, I am not really outgoing, talkative, I am a very shy person, I'm not outgoing. My, one of my, my, we're in my family with three sisters and the one in the middle, the, I'm the last one, I'm the small one, but the one, the one in the middle, she's very extrovert. We're like total opposites. She, hold on, let me put this, I don't even know why I got it. She's like the opposite of me. She's so outgoing, talkative. She could get along with anybody just like within seconds. Like he, I'm just like, how do you do that? Sometimes I kind of envy that, and I like envy it like in a bad way, but like I wish I had that in me to be more outgoing and talkative. But then I guess I, I don't know, I got used to just being an extrovert. I love being alone most of the time, but because of my family, I have that little outgoing person in me too. I love going outdoors, I love going hiking, I love um, going on vacations, exploring new places. And it's because of them that I have that part of me. But if it wasn't because of them, I would be home all the time. Seriously. But um, I love my me time, honestly. Well, not even my me time because I have a little one. So it's our us time. But anyways, yeah. That's one of the reasons I usually don't really like to talk a little bit. Because sometimes if I start talking, whatever I'm saying, it makes no sense whatsoever like i start talking nonsense nonsense and i get stuck especially when i don't know what to talk about i get stuck or <laughs> i space off and i'm like wait what what but yeah but um i just want to like talk a little bit about like my thoughts how i think not really about the situation i know there's a whole situation going on right now in the world and it's hard and it's just like I am at home most of the time now. I try, I avoid going out. If I have to go out, it's only to the market to get what I like, what I need. I can't really stack up on a lot of things. I have like canned foods, which I am always prepared for, for any emergency. I, I would have never had that, that train of thought if it wasn't because of my guy. He's always like, we need to have backup food for in case of an earthquake or anything that happens. And so we always stacked up on food that will last at least two three years and so we didn't really have to go crazy like a lot of people but um because otherwise i think i would be one of those two but uh yeah but um you know like vegetables and fruits i can't really talk about that because if i put again too much it's gonna rot it's only three of us in this house so you know and thankfully he's still working and you know like he once he gets home he just gets straight to the shower and you know, puts the the dirty clothes in the dirty clothes, but yeah, but it's it's a crazy world, you guys. And I would have never thought this something like this could happen, you know. Like I'm growing up, so I'm little by little I start taking things a little more serious. <sighs> oh my god, I don't like get sentimental because <laughs> I'm very sentimental, you guys. I cry over the smallest things. If it's something that's scary, if it's something very emotional, if it's something so. Oh, I cry. I cry out of happiness, sadness. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm laughing hard, I start crying too. So it's like, I just cry everywhere. <laughs> but anyways, something that I've been noticing so much because since we don't have like so much 
things to, I don't have much things to do which I usually don't have a lot of things to do because most of the time I'm, I'm at home and or working in which I do less you guys so I don't commute I mean I have a lot of people in my car so right now I'm not even working because not even mostly because I'm scared it's just for well, maybe some scared too but I might get it from other passengers and maybe it doesn't affect me but I have a little one and I just have her in my mind and then my mom and my <laughs> family's like you shouldn't you shouldn't because either way I don't think I would have but they just put them right in my head and I'm like okay yeah you know what I shouldn't and so I'm not right now I'm just literally staying at home being a teacher which is something new to me and it's just it's like it's not that hard. I didn't thought it was going to be that hard, but I mean, she's fresh grade. Fresh, well, yeah, she's in fresh grade right now, but, um, so it's not a lot, but I need to keep her active. I need to make sure she's doing it. Thankfully, like, all these things she's, she's doing is mostly, like, on the tablet, and, which, thank you, Mom, because, you know, you guys, I would have, I would have never gotten my daughter a tablet. I just think she's little. She doesn't need one at this age. And I don't know, it frustrates me seeing a lot of kids just like they're so small and they already have all these things like unnecessary things that they don't need i think everything has its, its own time and i even have a lot i have a laptop which i hardly use and it's an old one too but it works but every now and then i take it out and i use it but it's just it's crazy um but my mom actually got her a tablet out of nowhere just just because you know grandparents they love to spoil their grandkids and Sometimes it's frustrating, but right now it's just so helpful because she's actually using it and her teacher's communicating with me every day. And so she has all these apps where she could use, and I guess she used this, she uses those apps at school, which they have tablets and she knows how to use it. So I, I don't really have to, you know, like teach her anything. Thankfully, she already knew, knows how to use them. But it's a new thing to me, and it's like I have to make sure she's doing her reading, her writing, and I'm pretty sure all parents out there right now, you guys already know this, but yeah. And then I think I, I kind of have it a little more easy because I only have one kid, both so, to those others that actually have more than one. Like my God, my sister has three. I mean, they're all small, but oh my guys, it would be insane just being at home all the time with all your kids. It's like. Oh, I would go crazy. I mean, I only have one, and every night I'm not saying I go crazy, but I guess I just got used to now having my me time when I get to go do all my errands, my laundry, clean the house. And I mean, now I'm doing that. I try, try to take advantage of just asleep because I don't like to use all these chemicals when she's around me. I don't, I'm very particular with those things. I don't know. But anyways, as I have more time right now. I've been cleaning and little by little I have less things to do and it's like oh my god yeah. now I want to go out I never want to go out in the one time I want to go out I can't go out but you know anyways like I'm point it's like I'm I'm on my phone most of the time you guys and I go I start scrolling through and I there's so many memes you guys so I'm and it's like yeah it's funny and I laugh of course but um the crazy thing is that most of like I think 80% of the things I see is has to do with the whole situation going on I, I mean I think you guys know what I'm talking about right I don't want to really say it um my daughter she, she touching me right now and she just gets scared of hearing hear the voice of the name of the thing she's, she's like oh, don't go I don't want to think about it she's a seven you guys and she's already I mean she's already very like in her you know she's little so she has this like wonderful like mind world in her in her head and she doesn't like to think of scary things and yeah so I don't I don't want to say it at all because of her mostly because of her I don't want to you know this little girl here is like but anyways um but yeah and it's just it's I don't know. I don't I just don't want to say that name. But yeah, um it's mostly of memes. It's because it's like that. I mean so much ser kinda of serious and but most of them is just like you know, it's around that. And I'm just like it just takes it takes me back to this like little essay thing I had to write 
when I was going to college, a counselor gave me a paper and like she's like answer the questions that are most interesting and one of them is like what is something that you would like to better in the world and I guess it's something with bullying. I don't remember exactly what I wrote. It was quite a few years ago, but um it's just people are always saying, you know, well no, not saying, but um you know, people like kids are you know some with their abilities and sometimes it has to do with the home environment and you know it just affects i was bullied at you know when i was at a young age um mostly sometimes part of it had to do with my weight but most of the time it was just my name which i don't know if you guys even know my name my name is <laughs> funny i most of you guys might think it's Elena, but Elena is actually my second name. I'm named Fanny Elena. And, you know, it's crazy, but a lot of people used to make fun of my name. I know the first, the one that it's always in my head, and so every now and then my friend calls me, tells, throws it at me, like, Fanny Lani. It's weird because that nickname, I don't know, I mean, I mean yeah, it's kind of like a nickname, I guess, but um, there was this kid when I was, like, in, what, fourth, third grade? He, I'm making this video so long, you guys, but um, he just asked me, I don't know, hey, it's okay how you like it, Fanny Lani, and I'm like, fine, I, I just said okay, because I mean, he was kind enough to actually ask, and then others, they would just, you know, they would just do it, so that kind of stuck around for a little while, and so because of so, I just, once I got to sixth grade, I would always tell my teachers, because you know, they ask, they used to ask you, oh, do you have a name that you'd rather me call you i would be like elena please because it's my second name and so i always just got like in that mode of every year telling people call me elena call me elena but then every now and then there's this, another student called elena in the class and i'm like okay fine funny and then people were like wait so your name is funny or is it elena and i'm just like it's it's both but i rather you call me elena give me one second my daughter is in there Okay, <laughs> sorry you guys. Okay, so I had to pause it for now, but um, yeah. And I already lost my train of thought. Where was I, you guys? My bullies, right? But anyways, aside of all of that, yeah. So that's my name, Elena. I mean, funny, but you, you guys, you guys are more than welcome to call me Elena. I always wanted to actually remove my first name and just keep Elena, which it hasn't happened, but. I've, I've learned to just like my name now. I guess it is unique as it's not that unique anymore because I start with my mom every single time she says someone next to the same name funny. She's like, see, she's not funny. She's not funny, 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 funny. I'm just like, and other people just suppose that my name is short for Stephanie, which it is not. But anyways, let's move on from that. I just wanted to talk about bullying. <sighs> okay, so. What how I see it, how my mind sees it, it's like as adults we tend to make little jokes like, oh, I can't, I can't like give explanations right now. I'm like spaced out, but we kind of joke about things and we're like, oh, like I, I, I can't think about it. But you know, like how we just twist things and we're like, oh, ha 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 ha. Like we turn things around and we just joke about it instead. Or like we just joke about oh hey hey shorty but like in a friendly way like we say things in jokingly and we get it with each other we don't get like so hurt about it because we just laugh and we're like oh yeah ha 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 but things are see that all the time and it's like how do they understand that you're just joking and people are not getting hurt from it as adults like we just treat each other like that as adults and they think it's okay to do it at school but then at school it's like not everybody understands the concept of the joke and I don't know in my head it's like they just start using it as bullying and they just think uh, like I don't know it's like you know like when you know like when you do that exercise like that game that why did I say exercise? That game where it's like the first person 
someone you tell something to the person and then that person says it to the next and the next and the next and like once once it gets ah uh, to the other side it's a whole different story it's kind of like that like little kids see it from adults but then they interpret it into their own little way and it's you know you can't you can't blame them because it's not their fault but are we giving that example because i mean I have that. I've been having that little thing, thought in my head for a couple of years, but I don't know. Maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one thing doesn't even make sense. That's what I'm saying. But in my head, my little world, it makes sense. And that's how I see it. And sadly, sometimes I'm that person that joke between me and my sisters and my cousins, you know, like we just joke and have a little one. And sometimes my little one's like, mommy, that's not nice. But I'm like, oh, no, but I'm joking. She's like, but it doesn't sound nice. And then I'm like, okay like she's right and i try not to and i stop and i try to like when i'm around her i try mostly to have most that most in my head so i don't do it around her but just in general i should just have that in my head all the time because it's like in my family we have a lot of kids right now you know it's like new generations and they grow up to see all these things and then it's like they're interpreting what we do in their own heads how they see it and it's like they're not gonna understand it how we understand it because you know it's like we don't have the same train of thoughts from little people, from little kids to adults, you know. So maybe next time you're about to joke around, just think about it first, you know. Um, it's so funny because I just, I just love my little one, and I'm like, like I know she was. <laughs> I don't want to get into my throat. I hope I don't cry, but like she was in, like uh, it was like it was um, they care, but they turned into a little like a preschool. But um, there was this little girl that I used to pick on her, and I was like, and the, and my, the teachers would always let me know, and they're like, you know what? It's weird because the girl doesn't really do that with anybody, but it's mostly with her. And the things that my little one is not one to defend herself, and I can see a lot in her. And it's like I don't want her to go through the things I went through because it's a little hard. I've never been the type to stand up or like, <laughs> you know, to like for myself and I don't want her to be like that like I mean I don't want her to get bullied but I don't want her to let people bully her because it's like if you don't do anything I'm gonna keep going at it and this girl used to keep going at it with her and I was just like oh my god no like and I would talk to her and I'm like mama you have to talk to adult, an adult or try to tell this girl you know what I don't like it because I will never be like you have to defend yourself and I mean, at some point, I'm, I'm going to have to tell her that because, I mean, they keep going at it. But I don't want her to think, to have the thought that you have to, like, if there's bully, you have to fight them back. Like, no. Because if you could talk it, talk it through. I don't believe in fighting violence. It's hard. And um, then they're like, they come to a point that they're like, you know what? Um, There's an opening in this other classroom. Do you, would you like transfer, like, transfer her, like, switch her? And so I had to switch her classes and it's just I don't want her to be bullied because it's just so it's hard it's hard you know and she just has such a kind heart like sometimes I just like she trips and I laugh and she's like she just she, she takes it too far sometimes and she's like it's not funny but then I trip and she sometimes she's laughing like excuse me you know like I can't find it after her like Sometimes it just happens and it's okay. Don't take it too, like, or oh, they're making fun of you. But uh, it's just having my, like, I don't know. I don't want to. Bullying is just something so hard. And it just seems all those memes, it just makes it like, I can see how many kids are not, cannot take this whole thing serious because it's just the memes and they just think it's just fun. Like, it just they just make it funny out of it. And it's like, it's not okay i mean it's an entertainment i'm not gonna say it's not because i look at them and sometimes i laugh and sometimes i'm just like okay no it's too much but you know how are kids are supposed to make take things serious if there's so many memes out of it and i'm just like really really i don't want to keep talking because if i go more i'm gonna start crying i don't want to cry and i want to finish my breakfast story okay you guys well thank you so much hope you guys stay safe if you stay at home most of the time just stay at home unless you gotta go to work or get like emergency like food and stuff but other than that just stay
stay safe wash your hands and i'll see you next time bye